Once again, it's first step, director Major Tops entering the room, entering the auditorium. They took second place last year, second place last year winner. Involved in Rondo Days for the past couple of years. They performed throughout the Minnesota. We're talking about southern and northern Minnesota. Also in Minneapolis, South Minneapolis, and North Minneapolis as well. The group consists of a lot of kids, kids that want to do good. First step leads in a high step of pride and originality. So let's see the start the first step. in 1996, second place at the Club Fed Company competition in 1996, and uh, Wade also participated in the Holly Dazzle Parade, Old Fourth Avenue Parade, and Festival Juneteenth Parade and competition. This group has been together for some seven years. At last year's Rondo Days, uh, again, I, as I said earlier, they took second place and have been involved in Rondo Days for the past uh, seven years. And again, what the judges are looking for are choreography, dynamics, precision, sound, originality, performance, sportsmanship, and parade score. They have to been in today's parade. going to get better no matter what you know practice does make perfect again this is 
another high energy group. They are using live drum cadences this time, as opposed to the uh, last two groups that we've seen who use track music. A crowd favorite. Um, managed to keep the, the, the crowd's attention through uh, most of this competition. They play to the crowd very well, but one thing I would like to point out, this group is seen so often, and they're always known to be on top of their game. But sometimes people, uh, when they know that you're so good, it's hard for you to get that extra something out of them, you know, when they expect that of you. And right. Anytime these, this team takes the, uh, the stage, everyone expects them to do a great job. So it's very hard for them to exceed their own uh, levels of uh, limitations, you know. So keep trying to outdo their, themselves is, is something that I think is very hard for them. But as you see, the crowd is <laughs> filling them now. Again, playing, playing definitely to the crowd. Yeah. Look at that, I like that. He's got happy feet now. Give it up. First step. Again, this is the first step drill team from Minneapolis, Minnesota under the direction of Major Tops. And this group has actually been in existence for seven years, so they've got a little bit of experience behind them, too, as opposed to uh, some of the groups that we've seen earlier today. The drummers play such a, a key part in any performance of a drill team competition. And their drummers are very well schooled. Right, because I think a lot of that really brings a lot more energy into the, the performers themselves because of their drummers being so intense. Once again, it's coming up, and uh, we've seen a few of the acts have problems today. I hope the judges don't take that off uh, because that's not their fault. Right. it off as they go in a circle of motion here the grand finale of first step coming right out of minneapolis minnesota competing in this year's the 1997 rondo days real team competition held at the gangle hall center you're listening to your host otis entertaining artist vivian moore and paris tyler Our next group will be a touch of class drill team. And they are out of Kansas City, Kansas, under the direction of Vicki Harris. Again, up next will be touch of class drill team from Kansas City, Kansas. Kansas City, all the way in Minneapolis. <laughs> are we so special, I tell you. 
Kansas City right here. The next group of Touch of Class Field team. Uh, we'll let you handle that, Paris. Tyler, <laughs> what do we have for a Touch of Class here? Coming up next, what can we expect well, from this group? Because <laughs> you know I'm kind of reading your lips for a second. <laughs> up next with Touch of Class, the group has been in existence for 10 years, okay? Uh, the leaders, William, from Kansas City, Kansas. 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 Coming to Minnesota to bring you that touch of class. And you know, as we said earlier, Paris, this, this team is coming from Kansas City, Kansas. So, right. but you know, this competition brings out so many teams from outside of the Minneapolis, St. Paul area. So, you know, this is obviously a very, very uh, popular place to be during this time of the year. This 19. You know, this is the 1997 Rondo Days Blue Team Competition. We've seen teams from Omaha, Nebraska, Kansas City, Missouri, Des Moines, Iowa. And right. so people really come out and support this this drill team competition. And it, and it appears that the, the, the teams actually look forward to coming here and showing their stuff, too. Well, here they are, a touch of class. They come in in blue and gold with pom-poms on their feet. If you got to pay attention to that, a touch of class. <laughs> A little touch of class. That's right, from Kansas City, Kansas. Doing a little bit of a slow drag as they enter. Yeah, the Carrying our the very own American flag, that is. Of course, of course. Are they really? <laughs> and actually, there are about 35 to 40 uh, people who actually travel uh, as part of the Touch of Class's drill team. And they started in 1998 as a youth outreach uh, center. And actually, the team's leaders are William Mucci Hunter, Joe Straws, the squad leaders are Rodina Foster, Carissa Peets, Mildred Davis. Their sponsors are the Kansas City, Kansas Black Police Officers Association, the Parent Support Group, PSG. Ella Hodges is the president, Vicki Harris is the vice president. And uh, again, this group is hailing from Kansas City, Kansas. You know, in 1994, the unit split from the church, which they were originally part of the Strangers Rest Baptist Church, and uh, renamed themselves a touch of class after that, after that split from the church. They performed in Cleveland, Ohio, Chicago, Illinois, Omaha, Nebraska, Des Moines, Iowa, Atlanta, Georgia, Lawrence, Kansas, and several local city uh, uh, competitions that they have in Kansas City. Now, you know, it's taken this group a bit of time to come out to the floor, actually, and, and actually start their part of the competition. I don't know uh, if that's going to be to their disservice now with regards to this uh, slow drag again coming out to the floor. Well, I figure with 10 years of experience, they must know what they're doing. They're coming in, they're actually building up the crowd. You can expect high energy from this group. A touch of class speaks for itself. <laughs> supported by the Kansas City, Kansas Black Police Officers Association and also the parent support group.
another high energy group. Keeping the crowd's attention. Line formation is extremely tight. Cadences are tight. The judges again have a hard job ahead of them. Everyone in this group is on step so far. They have supreme confidence and they didn't travel this far because to be a failure. Nobody's a loser here. are in a split there in the middle if you see that uh, playing the drums on their back showing a lot of creativity I think we see major tops do that also uh, something that definitely catches the judges eye you know I don't know how how heavy those drums are but some of these kids are pretty small and that just goes again to show their diligence to, to coming out here and performing for this group of people today Going into a little cheerleader act right now. It's a touch of class coming out of Kansas City, Kansas. Routine so far has been great. Everything is razor sharp from this group. to the halfway point of this 
selection, a touch of class representing Kansas City, Kansas, and this year's drill team competition held at the Ganglehoff Center in St. Paul, Minnesota. Now as the drummers take center stage and do their thing and the cheerleaders on the side surround them with great moves. A touch of class. What more can I say? Up next will be the untouchable drill team hailing from Hometown talent. This will be hometown talent. Minneapolis, Minnesota. The Untouchables drill team is up next. Once again, going through a little weave exhibition right now. And this has to be razor sharp. Make sure any no one bumps into each other. And so far, they're on key. Such a class doing a great job. as they show this stuff out to the crowd. And the Untouchables uh, drill team actually uh, consists of about 25 members, ranging in age 9 to 20 years old. Um, Right now we've got a, a lost child, so we're going to take care of him first, make sure he gets back safely to his mom and dad, to his parents. Say my name, Will, to his son. Yeah, break in action is uh, we try to find the, the lost child. Just going back over the competition so far, we've had wonderful acts. Like we say, the judges are going to have definitely a tough time uh, judging. It's a few of the acts that maybe uh, weren't as up to the top shape as the other ones, but I think most of that has to do with the years of experience. Mm -hmm. Definitely. Mm -hmm. As you see, the more years of experience, the better they get. So right, right. If you are thinking about getting into this drill team competition, uh, it happens every year at Rondo Days. Mm -hmm. Usually it's held at uh, St. Paul Central Gym or outside on the field, actually. Right. This year it's being held at the Ganglehof Center. Now, I'm not right quite now sure the why mom's the getting booed oh, a little bit. Oh, they're booing the mother. The boy. Oh, that's but I'm happy that she found Ooh, ouch. Yeah. That probably yeah. hurt. But right, we've got to. That's better, At least yeah. we've got him back with his mommy. And that's so, uh, yeah, a little bit of booing for the mom, unfortunately. <laughs> ouch. But um, well, again, up next, we've got the Untouchables. The competition continues on, although. The Untouchable oh, Drill Team, directed from uh, my man, Edward Scott, Minneapolis's own The Untouchable Drill Team right, right now. As they head out wearing orange and white. And this is actually the group who we seen earlier, and we thought they were half of another group. Oh, okay. So now okay. we see that they are The Untouchables. <laughs> <laughs> so hopefully we, we look forward to good things from them as we did from the other group that That's wore right. orange and white. Um, 
This is a group from across the river. You know, there generally tends to be that St. Paul, Minneapolis bit of competition. Has a little ride. You know, so That's far, true. there have been positive attitudes with that, you know. The, the crowd has been giving a lot of love and respect to each and every one of the, the drill teams, and hopefully that's going to continue to the end of this, this competition today. Coming out with a little high step in is the untouchable drill team. The orange and white colors, pom-poms on the shoes, much crowd support. <laughs> They're untouchable. Let's see if they are truly untouchable. Untouchable youth, and their leaders are LaRonda Powell and Edward Scott. Doing a lot of popping and, and type of break dancing in this act here. I like some of the uh, participants here. They colored their hair orange to complete their outfits out. Right. And from the sound of the crowd, they are really enjoying this group. a lot of boy-girl dances here, uh, right. a la club scene. Again, you're watching the 1997 Rondo Days Drill Team Competition with your hosts, Paris Tyler, Vivian Moore, and I am Otis Art. times throughout this competition but these kids really need to be commended for their for their practicing I mean you know it takes a lot of practice to get out here do these routines learn the routine and you know give as much energy as these kids are giving today <laughs> it takes a lot of work to do this they definitely have high energy Right now, you're watching the untouchable drill team out of Minneapolis, Minnesota.
from Minneapolis, Minnesota, under the direction of Edward Scott. You see much action now from the untouchable group. Getting up now and getting down to it. I like that. Everybody's moving now. 25 members in this group, and everybody's doing something different here. from this group, more of the traditional style of steppers, right, you right. know. But you know, you can see the, the exhaustion on their faces. They have kept up this pace from the very, since the very beginning of the competition up there. So. Their male members is now taking the act <laughs> in his own corner. As he gets loose on some freestyle dancing. Okay, now this group has gotten their two uh -oh. minute warning. You can actually lose points. A little bit yeah. of crowd participation. That can be dangerous, yeah. But the crowd seems to enjoy it. Mm -hmm. So they really should now start uh, winding this this part of their competition down. They've been given a one-minute warning. If they stay on the floor past that warning, there will be a 10-point penalty. They are taking their act to the extreme uh, limit here. So they have a one-minute warning. Right. They're on the borderline of getting penalized. That was great how they left off. I like that. Give it up for the Untouchables Drill Team. This was the Untouchables Drill Team from Minneapolis, Minnesota, under the direction of Edward Scott. Up next will be the Immortals Dance Group. Now they've requested that the judges start tallying up their points. The competition part of this, this drill team is now over. They're now asking the judges to tally up their points. Prizes will be awarded in the order of first, second, and third. And we do now have one more exhibition group. This will be, again, uh, the Immortals Dance Group from St. Paul, Minnesota, under the direction of Levi D. Martin. Yeah. Again, they've now asked the judges to tally up the points for the final decision for the competition. Prizes will be awarded in, in first, second, and third prizes. So right now, this exhibition group is actually not in the comp, the overall competition. Correct. They're just going to entertain us for <laughs> Paris, who do you think is going to gonna be the overall winners today? I think the last group. You think the last group will be last first group. place? That's right. Okay, okay. I think they'll be first place. Uh -huh. In second place, I'm going to roll with probably first step drill team. Mm -hmm. And then uh, last but not least, I, I think the uh, Falcons will be in third. Okay. Otis, what do you think? I, I liked everybody, first of all. Uh, <laughs> but uh, I think the Kansas City group was pretty good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Of course, no one can overlook first step. Right. They're always a hometown favorite and always on top of their game. Like I mentioned earlier, they're always so good mm -hmm. 
-hmm. that it, it's just hard for them to outdo themselves. Right. And that'll be the, the true judge. Uh, will they award it to someone else because first step is always seen around. I hope they don't take that away from them because they're uh, so battle ready, as we can say. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't know. I'm, I'm kind of, ooh, I'm, I'm really indecisive as to who I think is going to actually take this competition. We had so many, many excellent groups. Yeah, that's uh, correct. So many really, really intense groups. It looks Parker. like, again, we've got another Michael lost Parker. child, Michael Parker. Um, you know, it's unfortunate that that happens, but you know, this is such a big place and there's so many people yeah. out here. You really need to be careful and make sure that, you know, your child is with you at That's all right. times. You know, it's easy to, to have a little one um, disappear you know, be, or be missing yeah. and disappear. They, they get around so fast. So once again, you're watching the 1997 Rondo Days right. Drill Team Competition held this year at the Ganglehoff Center on the Concordia College. That's right. And you're seeing this all courtesy of St. Paul Network, excuse me, St. Paul Neighborhood Network, SPNN. That's right. Your host tonight is Paris Tyler, Vivian Moore, and myself, Otis Artis. That's right. And I guess I put, your, put you guys at an unfair disadvantage. I asked you who you were going to pick for the competition, and I didn't tell you who I was going to pick. Well, who are you going to pick, Vivian? Well, you know, I'm still indecisive. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to pick anybody. They were all too good. They I mean, were all great. Excellent, excellent groups. Again, you know, coming from Indiana, uh, I, I have a different perspective on what I think real team competition is. And so this is a pleasant surprise for me. You know, not as military, not as regimental, a lot more dancing, you know, um, a lot more colors, of course. The, the, the costumes that they've worn have been really from have gone from something really wild to more casual look. That's true. You know? so that is actually true. So and it's I, been I totally, totally different. You know, I, I congratulate everyone that's come out here and taken the time to be a part of this competition. It's it's a lot of work, a lot of work for these kids and adults to come out here every year and give this this crowd, who is almost like an Apollo Theater crowd, what <laughs> they're looking for with regards to the drill team competition. The crowd was very good, though. I, no one actually got booed or anything like that. No, so no. I think everybody enjoyed every performance, even though right. there has to be a winner. So right. Right. And you again, out there in TV land, uh, who do you think should win it? And again, the judges are Pat Crutchfield, Connie Steele, and Dick Mangrum. And, you know, they've got right. a Right. I'm looking over there job. now, and they are really scurrying to oh, see okay. who's going to actually win this event. You know, it's going to be interesting. The intensity on their faces. I wouldn't want to be in that position. That's right. I'm glad we're sitting over here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I is, take these seats oh, here. Oh, yeah. I'll take this seat easily anytime over, <laughs> over being a judge. Oh, yeah. What about you, Paris? <laughs> Paris, I feel so sorry for Paris. He's just been so intent on these drill team just competitions. Just watching the competition. I'm all choked up. Nothing to say. <laughs> Okay, we love you. We love you, Paris. We know we know oh, that man. you're a wonderful person. And it, and it has been an exciting drill team competition, so I could see how you could easily get swept away in the yeah, moment. Yeah, yeah, all know? in the moment. Even as the floor is clear, mm -hmm. still <laughs> swept away in that moment. <laughs> and the judges are still tallying up their points, so... Um, as all the contestants are now coming back out, right. as they... Uh, the judges are just about done. Right. They're ready to uh, see the first, second, and third prize winners. Mm -hmm. With a possible 100-point uh, score for, for these lucky winners Yeah, let's winners run over today. that once more. Again, uh, they're looking for uh, choreography, which will get a maximum of 15 points. Dynamics, which is a maximum of 10 points. Precision, a maximum of 10 points. Sound, 10 points. Originality, a maximum of 10 points. Performance, a maximum of 20 points. Sportsmanship, which is what the judges are pretty much looking for as their performance, as each group's performance ends, which carries a maximum of 15 points. A parade score, which each and every one of the drill teams had to have been part of the competition, which is, uh, uh, again, a maximum of 10 points for a possible score of 100 points. So I'm looking forward to it now. Right now we've got Walter Banks Jr., who is our program director from Camo J Radio, uh, giving a little bit of a speech to the crowd. You know, you, you and Paris and I are all uh, members of the Camo J family, and 
It's been a pleasure being out here. It was I my first like time doing this uh, for Thank this you guys, too, right now for working with you. You've been great. And we've been, actually, the pleasure's been all ours to watch these great right. performances. You know tonight. what? I realized something. I've never worked with you guys before. Yeah. <laughs> so I kind, of, I kind of feel honored being the, the lady of the group, you know, sitting here with you guys. This has been a lot of fun. Well, we're honored to be working with you, Vic. Oh, well, thank you. Thank you, thank you so honor. much. Now that we're done with the mutual admiration part of the <laughs> show. <laughs> Let's get on. I think they're just about ready. Right, the judges so? are adding it's their like final scores. They've up. got our own Linda K. Morgan helping them to tally up the scores. So looks like they're coming to a close decision here. You know, again, um, each and every one of these kids, each and every one of these adults should be commended because they have done a great, great job. This Rondo Day, Rondo Days itself is such a wonderful part uh, of the community, such a wonderful thing to be a part of, you know. Um, it's nice to see, to be able to come across the river. It's, it's, it's really nice to be able to come across the river and enjoy a wonderful day. And you know, it was kind of a little bit rainy earlier today. Yeah, but, it was. You know. You know, it's, it's managed to work out. Everybody's having a good time. It's had a good time. And this is actually the last part, I think, of, of Rondo Days, uh, for the most part, the drill team competition. Rondo Days, uh, to jump back on a little history. town in St. Paul when where a lot of black businesses were and they tore down to build a highway mm -hmm. just uh, put a quick wrap on it as we look like we're coming to the trophy presentation Whoops. here you know you think I can maybe sneak out with one of those trophies and they wouldn't notice I don't know I mean you got a <laughs> bunch of competitors out there over a hundred of them yeah <laughs> pretty hard I think it would be too and you know they, they each and every one of them deserve a trophy today for all their really fine and hard work that they've done today too <laughs> Here we go. This is the moment. Here we go. One more time. Let's give it up to all the drill teams in the air. We're going to have Herman Mills from the Board of Rondo present the third place trophy. And third place goes to.
once again, you're in tune to the 1997 Rondo Days Drill Team Parade, as well as the competition. We just got through with the three, two, one, third, second, and first place, okay? And coming in with number three, we're talking about the third place trophy. It was the Faith Steppers Drill Team under the direction of Kay Jordan from Waterloo, Iowa. And in second place, the Untouchables Drill Team uh, from Minneapolis, Minnesota, under the direction of Edward Scott and Mr. And your Artist. number one winner, truly a touch of class, under the direction of Vicki Harris from Kansas City, Kansas, winning this year's 1997 Rondo Day Drill Team Competition at the Ganglehoff Center on Concordia College. For your host tonight, Paris Tyler. Vivian Moore. I'm Otis Artis. We'll see you next year on SPNN. Good night.